Hi, this is David, and today I'd like to describe for you a program called Novia, which is in its beta stage. It's a very cool program that allows you to put yourself via webcam in your PowerPoints. Here's the home page. As you can see, you can click on either of the two big orange sign up for free buttons. And when you do, you're given a very simple interface for creating your first Novia presentation after you create your free account. Nothing new here. Name, email address, password, some information, terms of service, and you're ready to go. The first thing you're going to do is over here on the upper left, you're going to upload slides. You have a choice between uploading the actual PowerPoint slides you created or uploading images that you have created of your PowerPoint slides. I have found it best to open up the PowerPoint presentation and to save each slide as a JPEG and then upload the JPEGs. That goes much faster and the images seem to be a little bit sharper too. One other thing is that you will not be able to have animations on your slides. In order to give a sense of build if you're going for a build slide, you're going to have to divide those bullet points up into separate slides and click them as they come in, as you can see that I've done here. Once your slides are up, you go down to the next step, which is to record your video. So you get your webcam all set up. What I'm doing here, making sure my face is somewhat square in the uh, area. Uh, take off your glasses if you're wearing them and click record and start speaking. Hi, this is David Taylor and today I'd like to talk to you about what is sometimes called the Achilles heel of online education and that is the lack of presence. A student feeling that they are really there. Now of course one of the things that we've discussed in our class is that you will not be reading from a script that instead you'll be maintaining eye contact with the webcam so that you are actually speaking to your audience. You'll notice that to advance the slides, the upcoming slide is thumbnailed over on the right hand corner. Just keep your cursor there and whenever it's time you just left click and it will pop in. You're also given a guide down at the bottom as to which slides you have completed recording and which slides you are currently recording so that you have an immediate kind of visual reference there. With gas at almost four dollars a gallon. In order to walk across a dark campus with minimal security. At this point I was getting used to the program and I was able to uh, flip the slides in sync with my narration feeling confident that my cursor was in the right position. That they're there physically and in order to be there and being there they're also feeling a part of that learning community being there with others. So the question to us as online educators is how, to, how do we give a sense of a learning community to our online classrooms? Okay when you're done simply click stop and you are ready for the next step down here in the corner which is to share. Now you also have an option at this point to re-record in case uh, you had too many flubs and you want to uh, give it another go. When you click on share you'll be prompted to give your presentation a title and description although you don't have to. It is a good idea to do it. Save and get on with it takes you to your embed codes. The first code is a code that presents the Novio in a web browser. So you simply copy that link, open up your favorite web browser, and paste in that Novio URL. And it will pop up and play via Flash in your web browser. Uh, don't scare the children. Use the zoom tool over on the top right to get that awful looking face down and uh, then you're ready to click on play. Hi, this is David Taylor and today I'd like to talk to you 
about what is sometimes called the Achilles heel of online education, and that is the lack of presence. Okay. The other code is the embed code, and this allows you to embed it in any social media site as well as any classroom that allows you to embed HTML, such as WebTyco. Uh, simply click Week 8. This is where you're turning in your authentic assessment, new topic. Type in the title of your new topic, Taylor's Final Authentic Assessment. Then go down to the code button in the bottom left, click on it. You'll see some HTML code and paste in that embed code between the two body tags. And once you've done that, click on the submit button and you'll be all set to go. Novia's player will appear in the classroom and all you have to do is to click play and I will be able to watch your final assessment. Hi, this is David Taylor, and today I'd like to talk to you about what is sometimes in the classroom without you having to upload anything. That is the lack of presence, a student feeling that they are really there, even though they might, might be physically somewhere else. So as you can see, this is a free program, Novio, and it allows you to put yourself in your PowerPoints and easily sync your narration with your slides. Good luck with it.